hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel josie here thank you guys so much for the support i mean you guys are so amazing before you watch this video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so and subscribe to the channel to be part of this humble family so still ghana black star let's have a little conversation here i hope most of you who watches my video um not all of you are Ghanaians, but um from different african country or any other country and i know you've been following this um qatar 2022 the world cup and yesterday ghana played against portugal and i just want us to talk about something here yes proud Ghanaian. we lost though but um we did well our players did very well. They did what they could do. So a lot of people have raised concern about um, what the referee did. If you haven't watched the video and the football match, you can go and watch and know what I'm talking about. A lot of people are now talking about it, tweeting, I mean, making videos, making comments about it. Let's continue to report the referee to to the high authority for the referee to be sanctioned though we will not get um that thing that that point back but we have to report the referee because most of you here if you watch the video you could clearly see that this penalty that was awarded to cristiano ronaldo wasn't a penalty it was a rough touches i mean it, it wasn't a penalty even even the the portugal's fans i mean their supporters most of they interview most of them and they were like no it shouldn't be a a, a penalty because you know these people most of them i mean they, they 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 talk or they say what what is this what they see so a lot of people are talking that it shouldn't be a penalty I just want to know your opinion here because yesterday our boys did so well our coach has also come out to make a, a, a comments and suggestions so let's continue to be talking about it so that our next month we are not going to be cheated again and i was i wondered why the world cup there was no vr how could that be they should have checked the vr to see whether it was a penalty or it wasn't a penalty and the the yellow card was too much i mean it was too much this could clearly see that there was um a racism play on this on this football if you're an african if you are from africa i think you understand what i'm talking about these people want to make all means to 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 get rid of africans from this match so always they, they they are all they are always against africans even those who open their hearts to say that they love africa and they they are supporting africa or when africans go to them for aid they know what they are getting back from africans that they are helping us but when it comes to reality these people these white people don't like us and a lot of people i mean most of our african country especially our rival <laughs> That is Nigeria. Some were happy, some were not happy. I know a lot of people were supporting Ghana, and some were also laughing at Ghana that we couldn't do anything. But if you are a football fan or you, you, you follow football, you know that this this match they did so well. I mean, they were playing against our slave masters. They were playing against Portugal, our slave masters they were the first country to to i mean slave us that is portugal we weren't playing against nigeria or togo so they did very well it was a tough match even before the match cristiano ronaldo even came out to say that it's going to be a tough match he himself he know that it wasn't going to be an easy match if that he did not do anything if that penalty was not awarded to him, I don't think the guys would have given him the chance to even score, you know. 
So these people, they did very well. I just want to say congratulations to Ghana. And in our next match, we are going to do very well. And we want all Africans to support Ghana. I mean, Ghana, 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 or say Ghana, you know? That is just what I want to say. I'm not really a football fan, but when it comes to black stars, I mean, black stars, our national team, Ghana Black Star unites Ghana. Football unites Ghana. The only thing I can say that that unites um, um, Ghanaians is football. Yesterday, it's, I mean, even mothers, grandmothers were talking about this football. They were even directing the coach what to do, what not to do. And a lot of people also raised a concern that the coach shouldn't have um, removed the DIU and Kudus. But some also, you guys also forgot that these two people had a yellow card, you know. And they were their target too. So if they don't really take care, they are going to get a red card. So to me, I understand the coach removing these two people because they have a yellow card. But my problem was at the same time, he could have left one for a while then removed later on you know i hope you understand what i'm saying i mean he tried his best so he should have because he was a captain too so he should have even be in the march then could used to come out and i mean for some time for for some minutes then he has to anyway we just learned from our mistake and i just want to say that ghana all the way the support is massive Thank you guys so much for the support. If you are not from Ghana and you are from any African country or even Europe and you are supporting Ghana, God bless you all. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. And I'll come again with another video. Bye for now.